guys! In this week's Come Follow Me lesson, we've been learning about something pretty amazing. We've been learning about faith, hope, and charity. Moroni teaches us that these are things that help us become more like our Savior. And when we have them, they bring us closer to our Savior. And we can feel Him close to us and feel his love. In Moroni chapter seven, here's what he said. And Christ hath said, if ye will have faith in me, ye shall have power to do whatsoever thing is expedient. Well, as I got thinking about that, it reminded me of lots of stories in the Book of Mormon that we've read this year that show us when someone had faith they were blessed with power and great miracles happened. Here's some of those people. Remember when Nephi was asked to build a boat, a great big ship. He had never done that before and his brothers were making it a little difficult. But because of Nephi's faith, he had power which helped his brothers have a change of heart and help him so they could sail to the promised land. Another example that comes to mind is the prophet Abinadi. Remember, Abinadi had faith in the Lord. He had a message that he needed to deliver to the wicked King Noah and all of his people. And though they tried to stop him from delivering that message, because of his faith, was blessed with power and they couldn't touch him until his message was finished. Now remember the story of Alma the Younger. He and his friends were going around destroying the church and causing all kinds of problems. But their parents had faith and they prayed and they prayed and they prayed that their sons would have a change of heart. Well, because they had faith, the heavens opened and an angel appeared. And because of the power of God, Alma and the sons of Mosiah had a change of heart. Remember Ammon, the missionary? While he was serving the king, a large group of thieves came upon him and tried to scatter the king's flocks. But Alma had faith in the Lord, and because of his faith, he was blessed with power to fight off these thieves, every single one, which helped the king want to learn about the gospel and come unto Christ. There's just so many of these stories in the Book of Mormon. Another one of my favorites is the Sons of Helaman, the 2,000 stripling warriors who had faith and they went to battle to protect their families and their freedom. And because of their faith and the faith of their mothers, not one of them died. They were all protected. And who can forget Samuel the Lamanite who stood high up on that wall to deliver a message to the wicked people. He told them to repent and that Jesus was coming soon. And though they tried to stop him, when they shot their arrows at him because of his faith in the Lord. When they shot their arrows at him, those arrows went all around him, but he was protected by the power of God. And let's not forget about the brother of Jared, who because of his faith, he was able to see the finger of the Lord, which allowed him to see the Lord and see so much more than that. The heavens were opened up to him. He was able to experience that power because of his faith. So we learn about faith, hope, and charity. And the way that I like to look at it is it's good to start with hope. Think about all the things that you hope for. We hope that by making good choices, we can be blessed and live again with our Father in heaven and our Savior, Jesus Christ, someday. As we focus on that hope that we'll get to live with them someday, as we keep their commandments, that can help us build our faith. Faith 
is believing in things that we can't see. Sometimes that can seem hard to do, but if we try not to focus on the fact that we can't see something and instead focus on how much we hope that it's true, that can build our faith. But as we learn in the scriptures, what good are faith and hope if we don't have charity? What is charity? It's the pure love of Christ. Here's a story that's a perfect example of charity. Hi, my name is Hannah, and this is a story about my brother Hiram. Hiram is my big brother, and he is eight years old. He's my best friend. Hiram is like other kids. He likes to run, he likes to play, and he loves movies. But he's also different. Sometimes he likes to have adventures in his mind. <laughs> Our brother has autism. Autism means you think things different. It doesn't make you bad. It just makes you different. Sometimes, my brother has a hard time telling us how he feels. Mom has him draw things on paper to help us understand him and what he is thinking. Sometimes, kids tease my brother because they don't understand him. I wish people knew my brother like I do. I know he cares about me even when he acts funny. I love my brother, and he loves me. And we like to go on adventures, like camping, building fires, and roasting marshmallows. We also like to go to the park, or the zoo. Dad says that one day, Aaron will be able to talk just like me, and tell me how he feels all the time. We don't know why Harm has autism. We just know the Heavenly Father made all of us special. Jesus said that we should be kind to all of our brothers and sisters. I want to be like Jesus. Don't you? True love can alter human lives and change human nature. I plead with you to have the courage to refrain from judging and criticizing those around you, as well as the courage to make certain everyone is included and feels loved and valued. We're going to sing a song today that sings all about this. The song is called, I'll Walk With You. Here's the words. If you don't walk as most people do, some people walk away from you. But I won't, I won't. If you don't talk as most people do, some people talk and laugh at you. But I won't, I won't. I'll walk with you, I'll talk with you. That's how I'll show my love for you. Jesus walked away from none. He gave his love to everyone. So I will, I will. Jesus blessed all he could see, then turned and said, come follow me. And I will, I will. I will, I will. I'll walk with you, I'll talk with you. That's how I'll show my love for you. So guys, in this song, on the parts where it says, but I won't, I won't, we're gonna go like this with our finger. Can you try that? But I won't, you can even shake your head. But I won't, I won't. Then on the parts where we say, I will, I will, what do you think we're gonna do? I will, I will.
Good job, you guys. That was so beautiful. I want to share a little story with you about hope. One day after church, several years ago, I was in my room reading my scriptures and pondering about hope. There was something going on in my life at that time in which I really needed a lot of hope. I was praying, I was praying and pondering all about this. Suddenly, in that moment, I saw out of the corner of my eye something white floating down in the backyard. It caught my attention and I wanted to see what it was. So I ran outside and my kids ran outside and we saw that it was a balloon, a white star-shaped balloon that had gone over the fence into the neighbor's yard. So we went over and knocked on their door and asked our neighbors if we could go into their backyard and retrieve this mysterious balloon. They said that we could. So we all went into the backyard together and we found the balloon stuck in their rose bushes. I felt like that balloon was an answer to my prayers and that it somehow would give me hope. Sure enough, as my neighbor pulled the balloon out of the rose bushes and turned it around, we saw the word hopes written on this balloon and it made me smile. I was reminded in that moment how aware my Heavenly Father and my Savior Jesus Christ are of me. They hear my prayers. And this was a special tender little mercy to let me know that they are there and they're listening. This was a way for me to feel their love in a moment when I needed it. I feel charity the most when I get to serve other people. Anytime I get to do something nice for someone else, it makes me so happy and really helps me feel love for people I don't even know. Today was a great example of that. Today, I got to go to my children's school and serve soda and cookies to all the teachers to let them know how thankful we are for them. It was such a great opportunity to help the teachers feel loved and appreciated. They were so grateful. It was such a good feeling doing something nice for someone else and it made me happy the whole day. Having hope and building our faith can help us have charity and we serve other people and show our love for them because of that love that we have for our Savior Jesus Christ and for our Father in Heaven. We have faith in them. We put all of our hopes in them and in their love, which helps us have that love in our heart. So I think the perfect example of faith, hope, and charity is Jesus. Jesus. So I thought we could sing a song about Jesus. Here's one that I love to sing at Christmas time. It's Jesus once was a little child. Here's the words. Jesus once was a little child, a little child like me. He was pure and meek and mild, as a little child should be. So little children, let you and I Try to be like him. Try, try, try. He played as little children play the pleasant games of youth, but he never got vexed if the game went wrong, and he always spoke the truth. And then we repeat the chorus. Are you guys ready to sing it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Here we go.
Mays. This last song is so short. We've sang it before this year, so you'll remember it. But I wish it had at least two or three verses. It's Jesus said, love everyone. I love the words of this song. Are you guys ready to sing it? Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. testimony with you today that I know that we can feel that pure love of Christ inside of us. Every time we help someone or smile at someone or do something kind for someone, that's how we let that charity, that pure love of Christ into our heart. And it's that charity that changes lives. I know this is true and I say it in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thanks so much for singing with me today, you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time.